Heroes don't kill people. Alright, so I'm gonna react to these trailers real quick and then I'm gonna talk about the movie because I saw the movie. I saw it last night. I'll, I'll bring up my thoughts on it, but first I wanna see. I wanna see this real quick. It is a second trailer. Okay. Okay, it is interesting then. Already? <laughs> I might actually react to the first one too then. Oh, so I, I, this was not in the movie. <laughs> I like that though. <laughs> okay. We'll take care of the rest. Who's on the team? I didn't bring a passport. You don't need power. I have many questions about the world building in this movie. Justice society. This is war going on outside. We ain't safe from it. Like, I'll, I'll bring it up when I actually review the movie in a minute. Here to negotiate your peaceful surrender. Heard about at least three killings. Also, the audio is probably muted or, like, very low. I'm not peaceful. Nor do I surrender. Here we go. <laughs> before no one. You didn't come here to seek justice. You came to exact revenge. <laughs> yeah, that Eddie is definitely going to be lowered. I said I was a hero. Steven Universe. But fate does not make mistakes. You have two paths. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. Okay. Black Adam. Then there's that end singer. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that's the first trailer. Which, like, here's the thing. I was, like, when I saw this movie, I went in pretty much completely blind. I went in completely blind. So, I'm, and also, watching these trailers, I'm happy I did. Because they straight spoiled one of the biggest twists in the movie. This is the first one. Like, all I saw was the beginning of this part once, and that was it. Nothing but hearty. I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. My son sacrificed his life. To oh, they spoil in the fucking first be Oh my god. Okay. Why would you sack? Why would you? I kneel before no one. Okay. Is it the same? It's yeah. It's kind of pretty much the same. Okay. Heroes don't kill people. I do. I Yeah, this scene wasn't in it. They they cut that scene. Destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. That's up to you. I kneel to no one. Catch a rock? 
Okay. He got the rocket. Okay. Is there any end stinger? No. Okay. 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 DC infinite. Okay. So spoilers for the very beginning. Okay. For, okay. First off, one. I love the movie. The movie was fun. I like it. it uh, oh, it's it's fun. It had some problems, but even then, like that didn't outshine the fun it was having with this. Where you are, where I love MCU, I love Marvel. Don't get me wrong on that, I love it. But also on that same note, like, I do like in this sense how they're differentiating a little bit of it, of uh, Marvel and uh, DC, which I, I'm going to feel like some people are going to think like, oh, it's a little, it's, this one's cornier a little bit. Like, in a sense of, they are go they are not going the route in DC universe. They're obviously not. They're not going the route of oh yeah, we're trying to make Superman and Black Adam realistic. We're not doing that. We we are doing straight up. No, he's a man who can fucking fly, shoot lightning out of his hands, and has like a you know like godlike powers. That's that's what we're going with. We're not gonna say like it's science. We're not doing whatever. And like yeah, Shazam did that. See, because this is obviously intricately tied with Shazam. Where to the point where I'm kind of wondering how many of you will go into Black Adam not knowing it's connected with Shazam. And then, uh, like, you know, when Black Adam goes, Shazam! And transforms it. Everyone's like, oh shit, wait a minute, what? <laughs> but also, but but my, my first gripe about these trailers, at least. Because I didn't see the trailers. I completely didn't watch any of them. Whenever they came up on screen, I covered my ears and closed my eyes. I... I've been doing that ever since No Way Home uh, for movies I want to see. Because it's like, okay, Spider-Man, I want to go into that blind. Black Adam, I haven't, all I know is that Black Adam's the bad guy for Shazam. I want to go into this blind. All I knew of Shazam going in was obviously The Rock. I think maybe Hawkman being there. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and Adam Smasher. Because, like... I like I people got angry at me like online for saying this. Adam Smat like Adam Smat like Adam Smasher is it's they're trying to make him their Deadpool. And I don't mean that in a sense of just how he looks, which hold on. Like Adam Smasher. <laughs> like not not only look wise, because someone so like this guy brings up like, oh, you know, Moon Knight. No, here's the difference between like Moon Knight. And, like, these two. Moon Knight doesn't have the eye thing around his things. Like, he doesn't have the, uh, that, that, uh, the eye, uh, like, you could, like, obviously, yeah, you can see the silhouette of, like, the skull or whatever. But it doesn't have these eye patch things on it. And, like, that's what really makes him look a lot more like Deadpool than it just being, like, a, a straight mask with, like, white eyes. But then also, like, he is mainly supposed to be, like, the funny guy who has quips in this one. So, it's, like, where Steven is less that. Like, yeah, he might have some jokes. Like, yeah, he might go... His thing is more cowardly until, you know, like, yeah! Like, kind of thing. This this does feel like they're trying to re replicate Deadpool for the DC. Which, I'll say this. I still... I liked him. He was funny when he was on screen, so... You know, but, but yeah, my biggest issue with these trailers first, they spoil this. My son sacrificed his life to save me. The movie literally opens up, spoilers for the movie, I guess, but the trailer already did it, opens up with like a kid, with a young looking kid going, uh, you know, what is it? There was, a t there was a world before, there was a civilization before Rome, Greece. Oh, shit. Before Greece, before Rome, before all this, called Kajnataj, I think it was, which is like a Middle Eastern like uh, city, which is under occupation by a foreign government and being used to mine their resources for that uh, government and country and all that stuff. Which you know, Middle East, it's pretty much that. Again, it's a it's a little heavy it's a little heavy hand on those bits where it's just like ah yes. The Middle East, like, it's not only just like, oh, yes, it's a Middle Eastern country or whatever. It's more along the lines of, 
like they they spout straight to you but also on that same note i'm okay with that because there are people that are stupid enough to be like that's not supposed to talk about the Middle East. That's just a random, not real place. Like, there are people who are literally like that who can't make that connection. So, it being spelled out for stupid people, I'm okay with. <laughs> I'm legitimately okay with. Because if not, they wouldn't get the message. So, I'm happy for that. Second, um, if this, but it also opens up like ancient civilization. Uh, Mad Sun King wants to summon... Uh, wants to create a crown using Eternium, which is a metal from He-Man. No, <laughs> or the place of He-Man. No, but Eternium, which is like a magical black, shiny metal so that he could commune with demons and become basically an evil Shazam, pretty much. Uh, you see a little boy kind of fight back against that a bit and... Basically, after he, the boy was about to be sacrificed or killed by the Mad King, he uh, got teleported away and the, uh, what do you call it? The wizards from Shazam, before they all died, except for one, uh, gave him the powers of, you know, Shazam. Which I find really funny because it's like, ah, yes, this is for Greece and Rome. So Hercules, this, that, I'm like... I guess the gods could technically be older than the civilizations, but also it feels weird that you're going that route. Like, I thought, like, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let me see. Uh, I got him as the same series as Shazam, another costume do-gooder. Even that he is. Uh, are Black Adam Shazam the same? Uh, uh, Black Adam. Same power as Shazam. Two, both of them. What's brutally? Adam plus their costume have a lot in common. Uh, do Shazam and Black Adam have the same powers? Let me see, because I want to... I, I thought... So there are some diff different, obvious differences then. But I, I thought, like, Black Adam had different gods connected to him than Shazam, where Shazam had, like, I don't know, Solomon, Hercules, uh, you know, stuff like that. Let me see. Uh, Egyptian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. Okay, yeah. He was blessed with the powers of... Yeah, because if I remember... Yeah, because in the original one, if I remember correctly, he was supposed to be not in Kalnak... The young prince of Teth Adam or Kandakak Ramsey's son impressed the wizard with the fairness, decency, but before Shazam could bestow his powers, the daughter Blaze made a deal with the god Set. When Teth Adam spoke the name Shazam instead of gaining the wizard's powers, he was blessed with the powers of the six, yeah, Egyptian gods Shu, Hera, Amon, Zati, Atan, and Mehen. Thus, Though Adam speaks the name Shazam and does not draw power from the wizard, Teth Adam served Egypt for many years. Yeah. Uh, the priest is powered or Ra. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because if I remember, yeah, he got he has the Egyptian gods, where it was different from Shazam, who I think had uh the Hercules, uh the Greek gods, if I'm not mistaken. But they changed it to where it's, it's the same, if I remember correctly now. So, yeah, but, God, I'm, I'm going off topic. I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, like, yeah, it's the thing. So, I'm like, okay, you know, you changed that, fine. I'm, I'm kind of liking this, like, non-descriptive. I don't know if it's actually in the DC Universe. I should probably Google that, too. But you open up, kid fight, gets powers, suppose, and then, you know, like, he fights the king and saves the 
the world saves the uh, the place from the evil mad king who is going to try to rule the world and stuff. I like that. Cool. And they really set up that. Ah, yes, the kid is, uh, you know, it, like a young Dwayne Johnson looks like, and it turns out no, that's not the case. <laughs> and they straight break that. It's like my son sacrificed his life to save me. You open the movie up with. I'm sure with the people who've seen this a lot, where's like, my son was sacrificed himself to save me because it's a big plot point in this movie about you know what happened to the kid and it turns out and like who Black Adam actually is and it's just like why would you say this in the trailer? Because I think people would immediately know. Oh wait a minute, I've seen this trailer ten thousand times. That kid isn't who, who we think he is. I'm like why. Like, that just ruined, like, not ruined the movie, but ruined one of the big twists. I was like, oh, shit. But, uh, God, I, sorry, I went off on a tangent. But also a little bit of the world building I want to bring up to is, like, when I first, okay, I didn't remember, I didn't know that the Justice Society was in this. I do remember that because, or before I saw the movie, because of Hawkman and Dr. Fate and stuff like that, which I thought, oh, this movie is going to be a prequel. At least in the DCEU and stuff like that. Like, it's going to be set in the past. And I kind of felt like it was kind of supposed to be. Because, like, one, there's the Justice League and the Justice Society together right now. I guess that's probably something in the comic. But I feel like the Justice Society should have been around before the Justice League. And then you also have shit like... Uh, I guess you could say it's because it's a third world country. It's behind them. But, like, the kid has a skateboard. They have uh, cassette tapes. Like, the TVs aren't flat screen. They're, like, big box TVs. So, it really felt like it was supposed to be set in, like, the 90s, early 2000s. But it's actually modern day because they, they kind of do have some, like, advanced technology and stuff like that. Like, the this organization that's kind of taken over. Which honestly, this, I would love this as a game too. But that those are and those are like my few kind of gripes with it. I feel like they 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 definitely like, I feel like they moved it to modern day at least within word because like eh like we we want that cool ass cameo at the end. But uh, this, but I one thing I, but, uh, let's talk about more things. One again, this is different from Marvel, where Marvel is more trying to be realistic while also be able to add some stuff, fantasy stuff to it, like Thor and stuff, or even you now like maybe a little more like Conchu and stuff like that. But this, God, I love this one. Uh, Black Adam. This one is just like, yep, yeah, this is a superhero, movie and this like, I think this is the best way you could do like a quote unquote anti hero Superman. It's pretty much what he kind of is in this. Like, hell, you, there's a reason you have this fucking scene that's not actually in the movie. Because this is the same thing as the scene in Man of Steel. You have two choices. The same thing in Man of Steel. He's like, you know, Destroy. get down. He goes, fuck you. <laughs> but another thing I really love about this movie, too, that it reminded me of. Like, say what you will about Gods of Egypt or whatever the fuck, whatever the hell the director talked about saying. Um... Gods of Egypt is one of the most bloodiest PG-13 movies, I think, ever. Like, it, it well, yeah, yeah, well, I know that one with the bunnies, apparently, that animated show with the bunnies movie is, like, very bloody. But, like, like you have people just dying, like, blood everywhere and all that in Gods of Egypt. Uh, that movie's not the greatest, but it's, that's a fun one, too. This is on that similar level because this man dismembers people, cooks people alive in front of the camera with just lightning, rips a man straight in half. Like, he has the biggest body count, uh, body count, which it's really funny too because, what, where, where is it? It's right here. Uh, are we 
in another universe now? Because literally the main three are murdering people left and right. Are you... <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> they don't kill people? I beg to differ. <laughs> but, you know what? I Because here's the thing. I love a no-kill rule. To me, that shows an actual hero. Someone who doesn't kill, who finds a way to save everyone. That is my jam. I like that. That is a really good thing. Um, but yeah, he, well, I do, but yeah, he has such a, he has such a high body count. It's like some gruesome acts of deaths, but because we don't see any blood and like, uh, you know, like certain things happen else. It's like, okay, fine. You, we don't, we don't, uh, like you can do, you get away with all that shit. And it's, it's really funny. You're like, there are points where they're like. Ah, uh, bring this man in for interrogation. Black Adam just threw the guy, and you see the guy just falling in the background. And he turns and looks and watches as the guy falls while he has super speed. This guy has super, I got super speed. See the fall and go. <coughs> he didn't make it. I'm like, you could have picked him up really quick. This movie is fun. <laughs> this movie is really damn fun. And like, they even have like a slow motion scene kind of in the beginning. Where you kind of show off like his power, like how fast he is, how powerful he is. It's very much like uh, kind of it's supposed to be kind of like that Quicksilver kind of scene in uh, the X Men movies, but I don't know. I just I, I like I liked it. This this movie I I highly recommend if you want like kind of like that classic kind of super. Why is he looking up? Also, I'm pretty sure he didn't have both his arms in the movie. He got thrown. And it has some fun. Mo and they, again, like if you're expecting Marvel, don't. It's not. It's not that. It's not a Marvel. It's not like a Marvel movie where Marvel. I I don't want to say like oh they have it down to a formula because then people are like yeah it's just cookie cutter. I don't mean it in that sense, but I mean that in the sense of Marvel has its own style and DC is trying to find theirs. I have to rewatch Aquaman and Wonder Woman, but so far, like most of the DC movies, other than maybe the Batman and like the Joker, the ones that aren't part of the DCEU, uh, are, eh, it's okay. Like this movie kind of also follows that same, uh, the, I guess not cookie cutter, but that kind of a similar, I, I guess it kind of is cookie cutter, uh, DC thing where it's like okay you know movie 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 you know whatever happens in the movie and then at the very end giant cgi fight with some big bad kind of thing which honestly i'm fine with because the c honestly cgi is fun to have i think it allows you to do more shit it's the closest thing we get to having animated at some point like that's why at one point i, I remember someone said like I, who who's ready for these next year or this year's animated movie that was like last year for uh, sonic or was it this year for Sonic? And I'm like, Sonic! And I'm like, no, like, that's not animated. I'm like, oh, yeah, shit, I guess it doesn't count as animated, even though the characters are all animated. But, uh, yeah, the fight scenes are fun. Like, Black Adam is cool. <laughs> Honestly, really cool. And then, like, again, another good thing I love about it is that Black Adam is the, the bad Superman, in a sense, of the DCEU. So, we don't need Dark Superman, or we don't need Superman to go evil and shit. I'm hoping. We have Black Adam. That's good. And also, I can't wait for when he actually meets Shazam. Because when he meets Shazam, I feel like shit's gonna go down. Especially with, like, his backstory and stuff like that. I guess technically his name doesn't... Yeah, whatever. But yeah, it's it's cool. Um, this definitely feels like this movie kind of feels like its own thing that's gonna try to be worked into the DCEU a little bit, um, especially with the end credits. Um, I'm also confused on why Amanda Waller is talking with the the Justice Society. That's like so. Are, I, I first thought like, wait, are they like Suicide Squad? And it's like, oh no, like they're they're not. They're they're just like a superhero thing that I guess Waller has connections with. Is Waller supposed to be the Nick Fury of this universe? 
Because that's kind of weird. Because Waller's kind of is a straight bad guy. But yeah, he just yeah, this movie's fun. The Rock does a really good job. Like I, I've liked The Rock for a, like really long time and stuff like that. Like I remember when we used to see him in uh, the wrestling thing. Even though I really didn't like wrestling with WWE or WWF stuff. But I remember I did like The Rock. The Rock was cool, especially because I could do the eyebrow thing. <laughs> so I was, so I was like, all right. But uh, yeah, this was cool. The Rock has the perfect physique to be in, which is really funny because there's some parts where you see The Rock like powered down, and I'm looking at him like that just looks weird. I'm so used to seeing him buff as hell. But yeah. This movie was fun. I highly recommend it. I want to get a skin on Fortnite. But thank you for watching. Uh, I highly recommend this movie. Oh, uh, let me actually talk a little bit more about some other things. I'm sorry. I, I uh, The side characters are fun too. Like her. I can't remember their names. But the, the they these girls. Uh, the Her son, Steven Universe, wherever the hell he is on in this trailer. Uh, it's kind of cool with like... Uh, you, I, like, they didn't have to spell it out, but, like, the idea that Black Adam kind of is, like, this kid is kind of, is kind of, like, a second son to him in a sense, but also on that same note, oh, this here he is, but also I like, uh, how this kid is a straight, like, he's, he's very much kind of like, uh, also Shazam's actually a really good, Shazam's a really good DC movie, um, which is really funny that Shazam and Black Adam, I think, are probably my top favorite DC movies right now, um, the kid is very much into, like, uh, likes, uh, superheroes, and, like, he has, like, Batman and Superman and Aquaman and Wonder Woman all in, in like, uh, posters up all over his room, and I love how he wants Black Adam to be a superhero, and he's like, you need a cape, or a catchphrase, is like, when you kill someone, say, the man in black sent you, which I'm like, okay, that's set up, that's gonna happen at the very end, which pretty much it is, and it's, it's, it's a fun ride, this movie is a really, really fun ride. Um, I highly recommend it. I like the relationship like he kind of has with like this family, where it's not really it's not like romantic kind of thing with the mom or whatever, but like it is kind of like a fatherly thing with him, and it's kind of fish out of water, but also it's it's fish out of the water, but also if he just did not give a shit that he was out of water, <laughs> and like <laughs> certain parts of the movie are really good, especially when like the re spoiler I guess where the reveal of like his statue and all that stuff, like it's. It's really cool. And even, like, the main bad guy at the end, I'm like, huh. Especially with, like, how, like, he this character is tied to lightning and stuff like that. Where, like, he's a heavenly thing. But then this other character who pops up has a tie to another element. And I'm like, but is it is similar vein? And I'm like, okay, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Also, like, yeah, I highly recommend it. And, like, I I'll say this to you, like, something different from, like, Marvel and and like DC even though I guess we kind of already knew like yeah there's magic in this world because Wonder Woman like at one point you just see like another realm of existence like hell um or so like that and then like I guess you did see the Greek gods and like but it wasn't really like a place that they were at where like you know Marvel's trying to tie it oh yeah it's, like, it's a planet somewhere it's like it's there's like other realms of hell and stuff like, yeah I don't know um where like they slowly were in it's just like nope and I'm like, all right, that's fine. Like, we're they're trying to rebuild everything. I honestly do hope Black Adam is going to be kind of a base for like building out everything now. Like, we've already fucked up so many times. Let's keep going. Shazam was good. Shazam was really good. I really like Shazam. I'm excited for the next one. I haven't seen the trailer for that one either. I'm excited for it. But yeah. Tell me what you think. Comments below. Thanks for watching. Which videos I've done. Links are on my Facebook description. Ones are on there somewhere. I, I, I legit think, go check this out if you want a really fun, cool superhero movie. It's fun. Is it like, oh my god, this is the greatest movie ever? No, but it is great. Also, there's a point where <laughs> they gotta break it, where he teams up with the Justice Society. And he goes, and they go, alright, so to get into this base, we have to sneak in this, this, this. And then they turn Black Adam and he's like, where is he? And then you see Black Adam flying the go and like beating the shit out of bad guys. Just here, no one man should have all that power. And just being the shit out of people. I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta love it. But, uh, yeah, this is fun. This is a fun power, like, like, seeing, like, a Superman kind of character just beat the shit out of people. And, without, you know, ruining Superman. This is great. Tell me if you think I'm below. Thanks for watching. Check your videos and move all. See you later. Yeah, this movie is just fun. But, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they did, like, it was set in the 90s or the 2000s and then they jumped ahead. 
like because it feels like it feels like the same. I'll just do that, but you know, I guess third world country. 